Who's is this? I don't see anybody being more passionate about cooking than me. I'm not afraid to toot my own horn because if I don't toot it, nobody else will. Toot, toot. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a garbanger chef now, so I pretty much do fruit, watermelon carvings. I can carve your face into a watermelon, and it'll look just like you. What's the dish? It is a Dungeness crab and corn risotto with a lobster tail. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. The rice is raw. And you're now on the garmanger, which is the cold part of the kitchen, which confirms you can't cook. There's a difference between constructive criticism and someone just being a butthead. I think Chef Ramsey might need to read a couple of books. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, and he has absolutely no idea who he's talking to. With this group of hopefuls off to a bad start, whose is this? Chef Ramsey is looking for someone to blow him away. Private Chef Corey. That tells me a lot about you. Simple, plain, blonde, and boring. Fails to deliver. Sous Chef Jason. It wouldn't even pass as something tinned in a can. Doesn't fare much better. And caterer Shayna. You've burned the thing. Leaves Chef Ramsay still hungry for a dish he likes. Please, God, let there be something on the next plate. Whoa. My signature dish is going to help me stand out, because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it an exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops, with caviar and white chocolate, and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up, caviar, and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. <laughs> raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. Unreal. Whose is this? Uh-oh, that's my dish. Where'd you cook? For the last 10 years, I've been playing Mr. Mom, staying home with the children and cooking for the family. So you're not a professional chef? Um, no. I put up with a nine-year-old and a six-year-old hollering at me. Chef Ramsay has nothing on my kids. So what is it? It's a chicken cacciatore and a roasted orzo. For 45 minutes, I expected something a little bit more exciting. Back in line. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sharon, you've got raw meat against cooked meat. <laughs> Gently, Sharon. Yes, Chef. Every time Sharon screws up, if I have a fish on that ticket, then I screw up. I need to refire those salmon. Sharon, how many wins? Minutes. You need those two salmon. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute only. Where's the fish? Coming up in pan right now. Two minutes, Chef. In Chef Ramsay's kitchen, every dish on a table must be sent out together. If one item is not ready, the whole ticket must be remade. You and you are putting the kitchen in this shit. Yes, Chef. Can you move and wake up a bit, please? Yes. yes? yes. You're both pissing around like a pair of Barbie twins. Sharon, you're scaring me. You yes, look like chef. the female version of fucking Hannibal Lecter. Put your fucking tongue in and concentrate. Yes, Chef. Hannibal. While Sharon and Christina discover that blondes don't always have more fun, Chef Ramsay is ready for the blue team's entrees. Where's the lamb? The lamb is right here. Cut the fucking thing, then. Right in half? Oh, come on. Fucking hell. Top. And bottom it, yes? That lamb is beautifully cooked. Thank you, Chef. Don't piss your pants. It, it's been 20 years since I've cooked on the line. It was very nice of Chef Ramsay to compliment me on that. Um, you know, that was nice. Service, please. Finally, the entrees are leaving the blue kitchen. How's it for you, sir? Thank you. The sauce is 
sauce is really nice. You'll like it. It's delicious. And the red kitchen. Service. Off you go, big boy. Let's go. You think it's delicious? <laughs> Where's this just come from? Who just put this ticket on here? I just brought the subsidy. What? It came on nearly an hour ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. To be perfectly honest with you, Chef, I have a line of tickets waiting for you, and I don't want to bombard you all at once and give them to you. What? I didn't know it was this hard. So, this is really difficult. That, what time was the table written first time round? They've been here for two hours, Chef, to be perfectly What? Honest. Yes, Chef. Everything you touched, you fucked. Yes, Chef. While Roseanne tries to get her act together, Chef Ramsay has a simple question for the men. Where's the beef? I got one beef right here, Chef. Where's the other beef? Where's the beef? You got a halibut yet? I have the beef. You said I only got one beef, Chef. Hey, you, 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 come here. You, you, come here. Yeah. So, can I have two beef, one halibut, one fucking John Dory, and can we have it together? Yes. How would you How like long? those beefs cooked? Oh, my God. One medium well, one normal. I asked for two beef. Okay. One halibut, one fucking John Dory. There's one, so you need one more. I want them together. Okay. I asked you to communicate with each other. Okay. And you're not. Just let me know what's going on, please. Fuck me. Let me know what's going on. You guys got to start communicating, guys. Fucking unbelievable. Come on. Well, let us do it. Petroza, how Ready long? On the medium Why are we you fighting? Are? Everybody just calm down and focus. I think there was a lot of communication problems between everybody. I mean, everybody's yelling. It's, it's just chaos. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. As a lack of communication brings the blue kitchen to a standstill, Chef Ramsay turns to the red kitchen with a familiar question. Where's the beef? Sorry, Chef. Two salmon, one beef, one Wellington. Unbelievable. What, have you asked Christina? No, I did it. I did it early. I thought it was coming. She just yelled it was coming. So You're not really a chef, are you? You're just a showgirl with a big feather coming out your ass. Well, she's going to set this place on fire. What the fuck are you trying to do? You can't fucking win in here, so you set the place on fire. No, that's not Is that not your chef. little motive? No, not at all, yeah? chef. I've never seen such fucking flames for a knocky. Sorry, chef. Won't happen again. 